Hello music fans, welcome to the Death by Unicorn channel for another episode of What's New 2023 where I talk about new albums that came out in the metal, rock, and prog genres in my order of preference. And today I'm starting with Oblivion Protocol and their album The Fall of the Shires which came out on August 18th. Actually all the albums I'm going to talk about today came out on August 18th. This is progressive metal slash rock. It's the debut album by this project that is led by the keyboard player from Threshold, Richard West. This lineup uh, is completed with three renowned musicians, guitarist Rude Jolie from Within Temptation, bassist Simon Anderson from Darkwater, and drummer Darby Todd, who's played with Devin Townsend. And last but not least, Threshold's Carl Groom has also contributed some truly enthralling guitar solos to the record, but surprisingly it doesn't really sound that much like the bands that the members came from. Of course you can hear some of those elements, but this album is more so for fans of Porcupine Tree I'd say. There's no harsh vocals on here, it's not really that metal, but it's got a little bit of a metal edge to it. There's no, harsh, um, no harshness, it's kind of more almost like neo-prog with some metal influences thrown in there. The song This Is Not A Test has a really catchy chorus and some great guitar work. So check this album out if that description sounds interesting to you. Next I want to mention a metalcore album by a band called Creek and it's called Depth Perception. This is the second album by this band from the UK. Just a solid metalcore release. Nothing too fancy, but some cool riffs, cool breakdowns, some catchy hooks with some pop influence in there, but not too much to the point where it's too poppy. I probably won't revisit this one too much. I don't think it'll make my top 10 metalcore albums of the year or anything like that, but when it's on, I enjoy it and I can bob my head to it for sure. Next, I want to mention an EP from Atreyu called The Moment You Find Your Flame. This is also metalcore, kind of with some post-hardcore, some hard rock, some alternative metal influences in there. Uh, this EP is by one of the old school American metalcore bands. Atreyu started way back in 1998, releasing their first album in 2002. They're still making music today. They've really softened their sound over the years though. Um, this follows another EP they released earlier this year called The Hopes of a Spark. And it sounds like they're going to release a third EP later this year, which will be combined with the first two to make up a full length called The Beautiful Dark of Life. If you miss their older, heavier sound like I do, you're not going to be satisfied with this. It very much sounds like radio rock, but has the odd scream and guitar solo that you wouldn't typically hear on the radio. But if you've accepted that Atreyu has, has this sound now, the songs are undeniably catchy. They're well performed well produced. I actually do prefer the sound on here to and, and the compositions and just the performances. I prefer it on this EP than what we had on their last two full length albums, In Our Wake and Baptize, which were pretty disappointing for me. I think this is a step in a better direction from those albums, but it still doesn't quite bring them back to their heights of my favorite period of theirs, which is from 2004's The Curse to 2009's Congregation of the Damned. And lastly, I want to mention a solo album by Craig Owens of Geodos fame. His album is called The Volume One, and this is kind of post-hardcore, but it's more just kind of emo pop with some acoustic influences. Um, mostly like acoustic piano and guitar, acoustic guitar versions of uh, reworked songs from his previous projects. Uh, this is his debut solo album under the name Craig Owens. He's been involved in many bands and projects with different names throughout the years, like Chiodos and Drugs, which stands for Destroy, Rebuild Until God Shows, and various other ones. Um, I heard his piano version of Baby You Wouldn't Last a Minute on the Creek before this release and I thought it was interesting. I do really like the original version of that song a lot better though, but I was curious to hear his his renditions of Chiodos songs in particular since I'm a fan of Chiodos. I don't think he improved on any of the original recordings unfortunately, but he kind of does a different 
more acoustic and intimate take on a lot of the songs. So if that sounds appealing to you, check it out. I probably won't listen to it again and we'll just stick to the original Chiodos material. And that's it for my first impressions of these four new albums that came out on August 18th. Let me know what you think of these. Is there any other great stuff that came out recently that I should check out? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, peace out.